I was Dog Jack Kim, 28 years old, graduated from a third grade college. My hobby was reading web novels on the subway on my way home from work. But today's subway ride was unlike any other. Oh my, at this rate, you might get stuck into your phone. In a noisy subway, I raised my head reflexively. A pair of curious eyes were staring straight at me. They belonged to an employee from the HR team, Sang Ayin. Hello. Are you heading home? Yes, you too? Yes, I got lucky. My team manager is away on a business trip. Sanga sat down as soon as the seat next to me became vacant. Her shampoo smelled really nice. What are you reading? She was looking at the LCD screen of my smartphone. Oh, I'm... Is it a novel? Yes, well... yeah... <laughs> I glanced at the title of the novel in Yap, Three Ways to Survive the Apocalypse, author Xing Shun. Although I wasn't proud of my hobby, the reason today was unlike any other was because three ways to survive the apocalypse, which I had been reading for the past 10 years, was ending today. People might wonder why I was making such a fuss over the ending of a web novel. But this story in particular was very special to me. I had been reading this series since I was in 8th grade. I read it when I was bullied at school, when I failed my entrance exams, and ended up at a 3rd grade college when bad luck got me stationed on the front line during my mandatory military service. And even now, as an unstable contract worker, getting transferred from company to company. It's bittersweet that this fictitious world that I had been following for many years was now coming to an end. The grand serial consisting of 3,149 episodes. A 10-year-long epic journey that began in my late teens and ended in my adulthood. I couldn't believe this series went on for so long with just an average view count of one. The first chapter had around 1,200 views, but by chapter 10, there were only about 20 views. Then the few count dropped to 12 by chapter 50. And now, I was the only one reading. It was like the story written for me and only me. <laughs> A boy was sitting in the seat opposite me on the train. He was about 10 years old. The boy was holding an insect collecting net as he sat next to his mother. You have one new mail. It was from the author of Three Ways to Survive the Apocalypse. I opened it. Thanks to you, I was able to finish my story. I also won a prize in a contest. What? Three Ways to Survive the Apocalypse was in a contest? Congratulations! But what kind of contest? It's not a big contest, so you wouldn't have heard of it. 
Oh, and the series will become paid content soon. Starting with the epilogue today, three ways to survive the apocalypse will become paid content. As a token of my gratitude, I would like to send you a special present. Could you tell me your email address? One attachment. Mr. Dokja Kim, starting at 7 p.m. today, three ways to survive the apocalypse will become paid content. This will help you. I wish you all the best. Right now, it was 6.55, so I had five minutes left. And then, suddenly, the subway lights turned off. And the inside of the train became dark. The subway train shook loudly and let out a metallic sound. Ah! Sangha screamed and grabbed my arm. Then I heard the sound of other people getting stirred up. Sangha gripped my arm so tightly that I paid more attention to the pain in my left arm. Then the sudden stop. It took a dozen seconds for the train to stop fully. Then I heard confused voices coming from everywhere. Hmm. What? In the dark, one or two smartphone lights turned on. Sangha still held my left arm tightly as I asked. Sangha, are you okay? Yes, but what do you think is happening? I pretended to be unconcerned. Don't worry, it's probably nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. The loud surroundings became calm. But please evacuate, evacuate! What? There was a beeping sound and the broadcast turned off. The inside of the train became a mess. Dokja, what's going on? A bright light flashed from the front of the subway train. There was a loud drumming sound followed by a pop. Something was heading this way in the darkness. It was a sheer coincidence that I checked the time at that exact moment. 7 p.m. The free service of the 8612th planetary system has come to an end. The main scenario will begin now. It was at that moment that the genre of my life changed.